So, in this lecture we will start we will see circular wave guide. Now, this is the circular wave guide in our lab you see that flanges are still rectangular, but the wave guide inside that is instead of any rectangular pipe it is a circular pipe. Now, this is circular wave guide cross section. So, the this wall is metallic and again since the structure is conformal with the cylindrical coordinates. So, we will switch over to rho phi and z coordinate or cylindrical coordinate. Now, again since it is an wave guide it is a single conductor no T m mode and wave propagation in z direction T modes. So, E z is 0 we will express the Helmholtz equation in terms of H z and this is the wave equation or Helmholtz equation. Wave equation and Helmholtz equation are same name sometimes we interchangeably use them. Again here you apply separation of variables break it into f rho and g phi already we have done that in case of field analysis by quarks uh, uh, when we saw the quarks field analysis similar thing. Uh, so, do those things and again that k phi and k rho square things. So, again the solution is similar as I said that h z must be periodic in phi. So, h z thing is if you change phi the function that time it was potential function this time it was transverse like, uh, magnetic field phasor that should be same. So, k phi should take discrete values discrete uh, integer values. So, that is why we give it a name instead of k phi we are calling it n phi to remind us that this is integer values. Now, for a the other one the rho variation part or rho function part you can write like this. Now, this equation is an important equation in engineering mathematics this is Bessel function. So, this is a second order differential Bessel function its solution was given by uh, the scientist Bessel. So, that is uh, there are first kind of Bessel function uh, j which generally denote the first kind of Bessel function j n and this as second kind is y n. So, now uh, we want the fields to be finite inside the entire wave guide including the center that means inside the whole circular wave guide we want the uh, field to be finite, but the Bessel function of second kind y n that has an infinity when the at the center. So, y n x cannot be supported as a solution sorry sorry. So, so that means, th uh, this cannot be. Hmm. So, this d then should go to 0, so that this part does not come here. So, when d goes to 0 we write like this that means, only c is there but c we have absorbed because a constant. So, a and b has absorbed that c. So, now this is the general solution this will subject to the boundary condition. So, this is the whole physical part we have enforced and got one one or you can say two be constant reduction that is why we now need to from boundary condition find this a b. Now, uh, so as I said consult notes for this manipulation again in cylindrical coordinate we will have to manipulate uh, Maxwell's equation. So, that you can express the transverse field component in terms of longitudinal component. If you remember equation 15 was that for Cartesian coordinate the similar thing we have not till now done because though we have seen the coaxial line analysis, but 
that analysis was not in terms of this because because of the quasi static field structure in quacks in two conductor circular thing there we took the help of potential function and took the solved only Laplace equation, but here uh, in T m mode or in circular web guide you do not have that luxury or that convenience that is why we need to again manipulate Maxwell's equation in the notes that has been shown that how to write it in that is why I am writing or I should have written equation 15 counterpart for cylindrical coordinates. So, if you do that the four transverse components E rho E phi H rho H phi can be written in terms of the longitudinal components in cylindrical coordinate that is E z and H z, E z and H z, E z and H z. Now, in case of T modes you put that E z 0, in case of T m modes you put H z 0. So, these four fields get expressed in terms of one longitudinal components only and boundary condition for hollow metallic cylinder what is that? That obviously, the any metal or any conductor the tangential electric field is 0. What is tangential field here? E phi. So, E phi should go to 0 at where on the metallic structure. So, that is why at rho is equal to A that means, on this whole outer surface it should go to 0 enforce that. So, for T modes you get that E phi is like this we already knew the E z thing now you just put that E phi. So, boundary condition demands finally, that uh, this Bessel function this is actually the J n dash K 0. So, that means, the uh, derivative of uh, Bessel function that function should be equal to 0. So, this is the demand now this is an equation. So, there are uh, number of roots to this equation. So, let the mth root is called P n m dashed. Now, remember that in case of rectangular waveguide our structure was m n n modes were T or T m m n, where m stands for the very number of variations along x direction the way it was defined the k x is equal to m pi by a. So, it was variation along x direction number of variations how many cosinusoid or sinusoid variation you have along x and n stands for along b direction or how many cosinusoidal variations. But here the order is different this please note that here n comes first m. Now, so p n m dash is suppose it is the m th root of j n dash this equation. So, if that is the root that means, we can say that k c into a is equal to p n m m because this is the root that means, if I put the in this equation that value that means, in place of rho if I put that I am getting that. So, uh, here I have written n refers to the number of circumferential variation that means, azimuthal variation and m refers to the number of radial variation. So, this that Bessel function is derivative that equation the roots are well tabulated. So, if you see the root for various values of m and n if you see. So, uh, and find out the cutoff frequency for cutoff frequency first step you will have to determine what is beta n m. So, k c already in the previous one we have 
sin k c the cut off wave number once you know that. So, you can find beta once you know beta you can find f c cut off frequency and that will be given by this. So, you see cut off frequency is the denominator is some constants, but the numerator that depends on the number of modes the value of n m that you choose p m n m that. So, that means, the lowest value here that will be the lowest thing. So, that will be the dominant mode. Now, here if you see this table it becomes clear that what is this? This one is the lowest this is for what? This is for n is equal to 1 m is equal to 1 that means, I need a T e 1 1 mode T e 1 1 mode that will give me the minimum cut off frequency amongst the way amongst the modes and so we can say that dominant circular waveguide mode is T so, um, till now uh, T mode. So, that will be T e 1 1 mode. So, dominant T mode is this the dominant T mode is clearly T 1 1 for circular waveguide m is at least 1, because circular waveguide the solution requires that m is equal to 0 is not possible. So, no T e n 0 mode and hence no counterpart of T 1 0 mode here, here it starts from T 1 1. So, if you see the field distribution of T 1 1 mode that you can see this is the T 1 1 mode, this is the dominant mode, but one problem if you see the field, you see the field is not symmetric. So, this side it is going like this, this side it is going like this, whereas you see this field structure is symmetric, this is something like our the coax field structure etcetera. So, one problem is generally we prefer this type of field structure. So, dominant mode field structure is not at least electric field structure is not so good. Now, we can see other field structures etcetera. So, that is why sometimes in circular waveguides the dominant mode is not used. So, you need to be able to design converters to convert the dominant mode to do that. that obviously, some power is lost, but uh, to have some other advantage sometimes engineers do that. And what is the wave impedance? Again from that basic definition of E field by H field, who carry power? E, e rho cross H phi that will carry power. So, that is why you are taking that ratio, not E rho by H rho, because they do not carry power that we have already explained earlier. So, this will be the thing. So, depending on beta you can find that value also conductor loss is given by this and now T m modes H z is equal to 0. So, the Helmholtz equation in terms of E z and E z solution same thing. So, we can again you see Bessel function has come and sin and cosine variation as before. So, you put the boundary condition tangential electric field 0. So, in terms of a here we can say that E z is 0 that means, this is also z E z is also a transverse field E z is also a tangential field at a tangential electric field. So, if you put that then you get a similar e equation characteristic equation that j n is this. So, you remember that that time it was j n dashed this is k c. So, the cut off wave number if again we assume that p n m that is a uh, mth root of this equation 
then we got K c in terms of this constant and this is a dimension that is also constant. So, now from the table you can determine which is having the lowest one. So, phase constant is given like this and cut off frequency is like this. So, that means again you can see the cut off frequency will be lowest for the mode whose p n m is lowest, whose p n m is lowest. Let us see that amongst this, this is lowest what is that mode that 0 and 1. So, the t m 0 1 mode will be the lowest mode, dominant t mode is t m 0 1. Now, this is the thing, but then amongst T, T m together who is dominant. So, then we will have to compare the dominant circular waveguide. So, f c amongst T this is dominant T 1 1 that is this is the expression for their f c, this is the expression for T m 1. So, this is this. So, you see clearly T 1 1 is the dominant mode. So, T 1 1 is called the dominant circular of guide mode. Its status is same as T 1 0 mode in rectangular wave guide. So, these are again field lines. So, you can see that this whatever I have said that sometimes this type of symmetric structures they are preferred over this where is T 1 1 you see this one. So, not very uh, symmetric. So, sometimes people have problem with this dominant mode E field is not circularly symmetric, other lower order model fields are circularly symmetric, some other not all other, some other. So, again model field distribution. Okay. Then attenuation characteristic you can see that T 1 1 cut off etcetera, but the attenuation wise T 1 1 has quite lower, lower cut off after you have gone up to a certain frequency then this cut off is quite small. Now, as I said T 0 1 is of interest for very low loss. So, you see from this curve that T 0 1 you see that it is coming after a certain time because its cut off is for her, but it has a sudden it goes to at higher frequency it is uh, slow its value is very small. So, it can give you a very low loss um, propagation. So, for high power applications where you want to do not want to lose power it is preferred but its field structure is also symmetric that fortunate that T 0 1 if we locate that T 0 1 you see that it is a very just like circular symmetry is there in its electric field. That is why this field was once very popular among researchers that how to extract that. So, in many applications circular wave guide is used as over moded guide because of that that I want to extract T 0 1 not the dominant T 1 1. So, that time uh, it is used as over moded and mode converters are used for converting dominant and other modes to the desired mode. As I said obviously, that will uh, give rise to certain amount of loss, but to get the benefit of the field structure circularly symmetric uh, we need it. Also, if you do not have circular symmetric field structure, there are problems that at certain points fields may be high. So, electric breakdown may occur. So, that is why in circular waveguide breakdown is a problem if you do not have a circular symmetric waveguide. Here we are showing that so you know that uh, actually if you have a breakdown thing breakdown occurs because if you have inside an waveguide some air. Now, air at a 11 mega volt per meter it breaks down. So, if you give a field higher than that 
then it will break down. So, there will be spark produced and the power cannot flow because power will be then uh, taken to the shorted things, shorted plates. So, to avoid that suppose if you are nowadays there are applications coming up where people are trying to send huge power through web guides. So, in that case the breakdown etcetera may come. So, to prevent that what they do if you put a dielectric inside the generally in the form of gases it is put uh, then suppose if you put a uh, put the web guide in a gas chamber then depending on the dielectric if the whatever the dielectric based on that the square root of that factor it will be pushed up. So, that is being shown that if you go on increasing the pressure the electric breakdown value is coming down. So, this is also another thing that in high power applications this circular wave guide um, you want to have circular symmetric thing because then breakdown will not the chances of occurrence of breakdown will be less and then you can also put gas generally C F 6 is used to do that in high power microwave people they use C F 6 to at least increase the uh, breakdown values to 2 3 times uh, that is circular web guide. So, in the we have seen these two web guides and again. So, that means, we have seen how T m mode propagates, how T mode T T m modes propagates in rectangular web guide and circular web guide. Thank you.